This video shows how to use Animation Companion to create an animated GIF. Here we start with the Animation Companion program loaded. The first thing we want to do is load in all the images that we want to create a GIF from. I click the Load from File button, and then I choose all the files that I want to use for my animation. I have to wait momentarily while Animation Companion loads the images into the program. When I scroll down, I can see all the pictures that have been loaded in. Then, once it's loaded, I can click the Create New Animation button to actually start creating the animated GIF. I am now in animation mode, where I can create all the individual frames of the animation. For the first frame of the animation, I will click on the Add Image button in the lower left. Then, I will choose the picture that I want to use on the first frame of animation, and then I'll click Done. Now, you can see the picture is on the first frame of animation. I'll then move on to the next frame. First, I'll create a new frame of animation by clicking on the plus button in the Frames pane. Then, I'll click on the Add Image button again to add a picture to this blank second frame of animation. Here, I'm scrolling down to find the second mushroom picture. I have six pictures that I want to create an animation from, so I'll repeat this process until I have six frames of animation. I can now click on the Play button in the Preview pane to see what the animation looks like. The animation seems a little fast, so I'll go into the Frame pane and adjust the timing of the frames to make the animation a little slower. The animation now seems fine, so I'll now create an animated GIF from the animation. I click on the Export Animation button at the top of the window. I change the export format to Animated GIF. I don't need a transparent background here, so I'll turn that off. I click the Export button, and then choose the name of the file that I want to save the animation as. And then we're done.